Just six years after the end of slavery, a group of African-American citizens in the Iowa City area decided that the time had come for them to build a house of worship. This became a reality when the cornerstone was laid on April 1, 1868. Although Iowa had been a free state, racism was not uncommon, and there were places where blacks were not allowed to go. The land had been owned by Charles H. Berryhill, and local folklore claims the site had once been a stop on the Underground Railroad. Records reveal the property was sold to James W. Howard, who is listed as one of the church's first trustees, and the property line extended from the lot at 411 South Governor Street, south to Bowery Street. City directories from 1882 to 1902 refer to the church as Zion's AME, but it is consistently called Bethel after 1906. In the early years, pastoral assignments were changed regularly, and many ministers were sent to the charge for one year only, with the longest assignment lasting three years. However, each pastor's sign contributed to the church in some way, usually marked by physical improvements to the church or parsonage. Throughout the late 1930s and 1940s, no pastoral assignments were made while the congregation ebbed and flowed as jobs and other opportunities for blacks in the area rose and fell. By 1950, Deacon Christina McDonald was ministering at Bethel and keeping the doors of the church open. Then, in 1958, Reverend Fred L. Penny was sent with his wife and six children. During his 37 years as pastor of Bethel AME, he canvassed the area, inviting the community to worship with him, and provided an open-door policy for African American and all students, faculty, and staff at the University of Iowa. Upon his death in 1994, Reverend Willie W. Clemens was assigned to the charge. When he was reassigned in February 1996, Associate Pastor Reginald Blunt assumed the reins, serving until November 1998, when Reverend Orlando R. Dial would lead Bethel for the next 17 years, assisted by local pastor Lula Mallet, and later by Reverend Versella Jenkins. On September 27, 2000, Bethel AME Church in Iowa City was honored as a national historical site at both the state and federal levels. And, after numerous plans and discussions over the years, a new sanctuary was finally built. Today, Reverend Kimberly Abram Bryant is leading Bethel's vibrant growth in numbers and enthusiasm while continuing to let God guide the spiritual direction and transformation of this historic AME church in Iowa. When you open the doors of the church and you see more empty pews than you see people, we keep coming back and preaching and singing and teaching all because of faith. Uh, what makes this congregation very special to me is that everyone brings a really great part of themselves and their gifts to make this church a church that is continuing to build up the kingdom of God.